Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to our Minecraft mod review with me. And today, today, we're looking at One Piece mods. Which, uh, this mod in particular, quite a few people have mentioned to me in the past, hey, you should look at this mod, and I'm finally actually looking at this mod. It is Prime Piece, which, uh... Yeah, it's been a, it's been about it's had a bunch of different updates and stuff, and originals a bit wibbly on the idea of actually looking at it because it didn't really look at much to show. But no, it's consistently kept updating to the point now where it's a One Piece mod with a lot of stuff to show. Um, so many things, in fact, so so many things. What's this mod got? It's got power system stuff. It's got Delverts. It's got Haki. It's got a bajillion mobs. So many cosmetic bits and structures. It's it's got a lot. It's it's a it's, it's, it's a lot of things in this mod. <laughs> An impressive number of things. Key thing though, a lot of things in this mod. It does have a kind of wibbly point where some of this stuff still kind of work in progress unfinished. So in case, some cases, some mobs won't have all their abilities and stuff in yet. But the models are in, they look good. So just bear that in mind as we look through Prime Piece, a very chunky One Piece mod. But yeah, so once upon a time, I looked upon this mod page for this mod. And it didn't really have much to show for it. it. had no pictures and things. had just a big list of things it was going to add in. And majority of the time with anime mods, whenever that happens, it, th that stuff never gets added in. Most anime mods go abandoned and unfinished. In this mod's case, it does seem like it's made a good effort of adding all those things in. It may actually have all those things that listed in at this point. I'm not entirely sure. I forget exactly what it said it was going to put in. But there's a lot of stuff in here, so I could believe it at this point. And then I looked on the mod page, and yeah, there's still no pictures in the picture area. But the front page is filled with a lot of really cool looking character models and things like that. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it looks like you're supposed to get some good stuff. So naturally I came to this mod and yeah, I thought I'll have a we playthrough of it. I'll play through it, see what it's all about. And yeah, I was shocked just the sheer amount of stuff in it and how awesome some of the things and some of the ideas I went for are. Which, um, yeah, starting us off just looking at this stuff. I got a good laugh at this. Uh, this stuff's called Fool's Material. Basically, they made a lot of structures that have a bunch of fancy materials on it. And, yeah, it got me. I went into a particular kitchen, uh, specifically in a place called Arlong's Park, which, uh, yeah, that's a structure that's in this mod. And I came across some blocks of iron. I was early on in my survival and thought, ooh, iron. Picked it up and found out it was Fool's Iron. I didn't read that straight away, though. I put it in my, uh, crafting thing, trying to get the iron out. Didn't work. Yeah, I love this stuff. I love the fact it's there because yeah, it got me. It's got me more than once. It's beautiful stuff. So yeah, uh, looking at stuff in this mod, let's just start looking through it and we we'll see what she and doom ba dum. So just looking at some of the more basic things first. Treasure chests. They're everywhere. There are so many treasure chests. I imagine some of that stuff's going to get reworked as time goes because there's so much and they're incredibly simple. So basically, you'll find them throughout the world in various structures. Wooden chest being the most basic, then iron, gold, and diamond. To make a bigger chest, you can either find it. They actually all form, you'll find lying around the world. Alternatively, you can combine nine of the lower tier ones to create one, the higher tier ones. So, uh, basic to iron, nine iron to gold, or nine gold to diamond. And the higher tier the chest is, the better the loot you can get out of it is. There's also keys. So, the basic chest doesn't require a key. It's not locked. Iron, gold, and uh, diamond require keys. The keys are basically just three of that material. They're incredibly simple. There's also these, the Sea Beast chests. I assume you find them under the ocean? I'm not entirely sure. I've never actually found one in survival. But yeah, so however this stuff works, you right click the chest after it's on the ground and it'll drop some items. So yeah, that was the most basic one. It drops some emeralds. Uh, it's not always that kind. A lot of cases it will drop apples and uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, there we go. That's one of the more common drops on them. But yeah, you can get things like iron things like... Emma's found them awesome. The next chest, you'll need keys. Now, a key is not always consumed when you use it. So one key can actually open up maybe several chests in some cases. But yeah, in this case, yeah, a key broke. That's unfortunate. So uh, iron chest it opened. And oh, we got a berry bag. What's a berry bag? It's a bag full of berries. What do berries do? Well, there are shop people in this. I've only ever found one. They do exist. But that's a thing to look at later for now. Gold chest open. Oh, a bunch more stuff. Yeah, because it's a gold chest. It's given a bunch more... Things including, oh, that looks like, oh, a gold apple, a devil fruit, a golden saber. Yeah, so, uh, unique things there. Then there's a diamond chest. It can drop really nicely. So, there you go. There we just got a really fancy, uh, piece of thing there. Oh, a relic that grants supreme hockey in the global gum. Oh, beautiful. And then there's a sea chest. I have no idea what this thing does. Uh, apparently it gave me the ability to 
Get a sea beast eye and a sea beast tooth. Well, these probably materials for crafting something. Yeah, chests are everywhere. Give you all sorts of loot. Great things. So yeah, that's that's the chest mechanics. Cool. Also, food. Uh, it's one piece. It kind of makes sense. You put a bunch of food in there. They've had a bunch of different food moment things. There is like top tier chef and Luffy loves food. Uh, but yeah, basically a bunch of food you'll get from, in some cases, like looting structures, in some cases, defeating certain enemies. So, for example, raw shark, be a shark, cook shark, cook the shark, dum ba dum. In other cases, like eastern fish meal, it's combining several things together. So, for that, you need soy sauce, a bowl, and cooked elephant fish. Uh, for that, you're going to need to get raw elephant fish. Okay, just find whatever raw, uh, elephant fish is. But then you want soy sauce. That's wheat and soybean. Soybean you can't create any, uh, you can't craft. So you have to find that. So that'd be a thing. But yeah, food items. What's the point of them? A uh, bunch of food for one, saturation. But also, yeah, food tends to give uh, fun extra effects. So I don't know if I can just quickly remember a bit of the fighting fish. And yeah, that one didn't give an effect. Okay, hold on. Wait, I know what it definitely does though. I know the Eastern fish meal does because I've eaten that before. Takes a hot man to eat, but there you go. So this one gave me speed. Strength and resistance. So, yeah, kill effects. Moving on from there, clothes. Uh, these are also things you're going to find a bunch of. Uh, in some cases, you get them from chests. In other cases, defeat enemies and they'll drop them. For example, yeah, the pirate captain hat. Uh, that's a hat that a lot of different pirates will just randomly drop. I think it looks pretty cool. So, that's a pretty basic armor piece, though. As you can see, it also tells you like different armor uh, values you'll get from it. So, armor, armor toughness. Not bad resistance. Most of it's pretty basic until you start getting to the higher tier stuff because there's there's a lot in here. Like, you know, Mihawk's cloak, for example. Ooh, that's fancy. How are you going to get that? Well, probably from a lit chest or by fighting Mihawk. Yeah, that could be a thing. Uh, then there's, yeah, things like Luffy's armor. Oh, yeah, there's as well a Kainu's cloak there. There's Law's coat, Whitebeard's coat, Rayleigh's coat. There's a lot in here, as you can see, there's, there's a lot of items, uh, Brooks Crown, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff, and I think it looks pretty good, uh, in cases, obviously some of it's a bit oversized for, you know, character, but that's because it's one piece, a lot of the stuff is oversized, <laughs> that's kind of how it works, but yeah, Whitebeard's Cloak, Akainu's Cloak, dub -ba -dub. also if you wonder what's going on with me right now, I'll get to that in a second, but yeah, uh, Mihawk's Coat, so yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch, you can basically just kit your character out to look however you want to look. And, yeah, they have different armor values. So it's not entirely useless either. You can wear the armor and actually can be pretty good. Uh, knockback resistance. You might think it's a bit extreme, but there's actually quite a lot of things in this that provide knockback. A.K.A. mostly firearms. <laughs> firearms do a lot of knockback in some cases. So having knockback resistance is kind of useful so you don't get knocked away while you're trying to stand your ground and fight. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to throw every single clothing item because there be a lot. But, yeah, there's just, there's just really cool bits, you know, you know, there's Frankie's, Frankie's coat, yeah, or Frankie's, uh, Hawaiian shirt, I should say. Bon Clay's jacket, there's some fancy stuff in here, there's some really awesome bits in here. Moving on from there, we've got a whole bunch of weapons, so, uh, yeah, there's basic swords and things. So, like, the saber, that you're gonna get from a lot of generic enemies, easy enough, then there's a golden saber. It's maybe slightly stronger, and, you know, it says forge for a pirate captain, it's a saber but golden. And, I mean, yeah, these look pretty good uh, overall. So, yeah, they're, like, some of the more basic ones, though. And you can see all the weirder, fancier stuff, depending on, like, you know, the crab gauntlet. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's... That's the whole thing. Uh, they use this, like, scissors that used for the... Apparently, that's for the Kagi. Uh, the Kagi. For it. Oh, so that, those are Mario scissors. Oh. When I saw scissors, I was thinking the guy with the scissor... Whatever. Anyway, yeah, there's things like Axe Hand, things like Yurisho, Yoru. There's just a whole bunch in here. Which, uh, yeah, in some cases, weapons and swords and things. In other cases, firearms. Wrong chest. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of firearms as well. Also, that there, the Vanisher, that's just missing textures, apparently. Uh, slingshots, claws. There, there's a whole bunch of fancy stuff in here. It's a really good lot. There's also, yeah, the Yoru imitation, which. And it's just Roger's sword. Only Pirate King is worth it. Alright, fair enough game. Um, <laughs> your imitation. You're a bot without the blackened blade yet. Because, you know, it's just an imitation. And you haven't darkened yet with Haki. Uh, you get Arlong's weird shark to sword. Claws. For that one cat guy that one time. Uh, yeah, it's shark slingshot. You can pull back and fire bits off of. 
get ammunition for guns and things. There's, yeah, a whole bunch in here. It's, it's pretty cool. In some cases, though, yeah, some swords have extra effects. So, for example, yeah, really sword here. Uh, yeah, kill cool sword. Right click with it, though. It'll do different effects. Whatever that was. Cool. Uh, I think Shanks' sword is the one of each emoji. Yeah, that's got an ability. Yeah, basically, though, it'll just tell you M2, which just means, yeah, use your right mouse button. And it'll do a cool thing. It's also, yeah, bigger guns, like visual cushion stuff, which most of these require ammunition, but, you know, you... Okay, I don't have it on me, but yeah. Also... Oh! Kind of say I was expecting to be able to do that with the sword, but, I mean, it is one of the emoji. <laughs> it's called... Dra Apparently, it's got a ability called Dragon Slice, but, like... Wait, what? It... Yeah, it's trying to put it in my face. I guess it's... Uh, uh, you know what? That can stay there. That's fine. Yeah, that said, though, it's now got me wanting to go and look for uh, other swords to find Zoro's entire set. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, well, the Sandai Kitetsu and Shishui show. And it's also in my hair, too. Uh, so, yeah, we can click. Right click. It will actually activate abilities. Weirdly enough, I think they activated all their abilities at once there, so that was a whole thing. Sandiketsu is not got ability. That's got Ryu Schlier, and that one's got Dragon Slice. Well, if I took that off my offhand, can I just... Yeah, I think it's doing the Wanoichi Monji ability with that. Cool. There's also, yeah, the Enma, which... Hockey overpowering. Enable Hockey. Yeah, so it's Hockey to actually wield this thing. So, yeah, there's some shards that require mechanics and stuff, too. I had no idea. I... I haven't found the one of each emoji in survival because I had no idea that could go in your mouth. But yeah, apparently you can do a proper, like, full look like you're doing three sword style kind of thing. Now we pop in here. There's a whole bunch of random stuff in here. So, um, I guess starting off, there's three unique boats in here. Which, uh, weirdly, one of them, I mean, one of them's not really a boat technically, but it, like, it's a smoker's bike, actually. I'm saying a boat more. But three unique vehicles, I should say. Yeah, you get smoker's bike in here. So you can just sort of, yeah, drive around it. You don't apparently need the smoke smoke for it. So that's fun. Or do you? No, no, you don't. I was wondering if they don't just in case it was in survival uh, in creative. No, no, you can just have it. Cool. Ah, uh, getting it though. <laughs> Maybe out of a little loot chest. <laughs> Let's go find it. I love it if Smoker just spawned with this at some point. But yeah, okay. There'd be a vehicle. And then yeah, we've also got the coffin boat, which is Mihawk's thing. Cool. Actually, yeah, there we go. So obviously we're on, we're not on, we're not on, we're not on water though, so it's not going to be very useful, but, uh, yeah, there's also the striker boat, which I believe is Ace's boat. Okay, that didn't quite go in the water there. Also, we'll try to shoot fire out. Yeah, it's fine, it's a boat, you can just, you can just break it and just get it. Actually, wait, no, you have durability, hold on, wait, if you break, will you actually, will you drop as an item or will you just break? Well, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, you know, you get it back. That's fine. Okay. I was wondering if for a second I just saw durability. I'm like, wait, no, wait, no. This isn't like a regular boat. This is a very different thing. But yeah, okay. So it's like, it's a boat though. It acts like a boat. They act like boats because they're boats. Dum, dum, dum. There you go. So yeah, again, how you get these things. Well, as far as I know, they don't crafting recipes. As far as I know, they are just uh, find them and you get them kind of thing. Like looking. Yeah, it's not, no crafting recipe. So basically, probably loot chests. Probably your... Yes, but unless, yeah, maybe particular enemies that, you know, are related to such items might drop them. So, you know, Ice, Mihawk, and Smoker, no big deal. Just beat those powerful opponents. Moving on from there, though, because these items. So, uh, this is where another aspect of the game comes in. Uh, you got races and things and families and stuff. So, this is the part where we can actually take a look at the controls and stuff. So, yeah, there's a couple of these things in here. Uh, you got a menu to open up, and you got a couple of control bits. So there is your open your menu command, which I put as Y right now. Normally it's M, but I put it as Y. Uh, there is the Gepo ability. Gepo you just have. You click K to turn it on. You can then double jump. It will use stamina, because you have stamina in this, along with a stat system. So we open this up here and take a look. So that berry I got earlier, got 55 berry, cool. I'm currently race fishman. That just happens when you're born. Like you just you have a race of some kind, and you might get something unique because of it. In this case, I'm a fishman, which I can make an assumption means a very particular thing will happen to me while I'm in the water. Yeah, I can get dolphins, grace, night vision, and water breathing. So I'm quicker in the water and all that. Makes a lot uh, logical sense. Uh, in other, in when I play in survival, when I've tested this mod before, I got the. Uh, 
what was it, the Skypeen uh, race, which gave me wings that gave me Stallfall, and gave me a super jump, so that was the whole thing. They have a good family, so in this case, I've got the monkey family. I don't really know what that does for me. Uh, I know in one case before, I got the Mihawk family, so because I got to start with the Yoroblade, I don't really know what happens when you start with the monkey family. Well, that means there's a very particular extra quest thing or anything like that. But uh, yeah, if we go with this thing here, if we go into creative mode. There we go. Got into creative mode and we click it. We can basically give ourselves family thing there. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, give me monkey family again. This time I got to start with a straw hat. Oh, wait. That's the... That's, that. So that gives you not back for... Did my original straw hat do that? Also, I just got born a king. Wait, what? I got... Oh, I'm from the Vinsmoke family. But I also got the D part in my name. Awesome. I also just got an absolute load of money there. Probably because Vinsmoke means rich. I suppose. Oh, yeah, no, my original hat had the exact same thing. Yes, yeah, exact same hat. Not because you know, Paris, this is for you. I had no idea that was the case. Awesome. Yeah, I never got that. I spawned that in just to look like that. But yeah. Uh, also, apparently, because I've got D, I get to start with hockey. Because I'm awesome. So that's fun. I also have regeneration too. Which I'm assuming is also a uh, side effect of the Vinsmoke family. So I have regeneration because I am not exactly normal. Uh, we got family again. This time we got Mihawk. That's obvious to me because, yeah, we just got given Mihawk's knife and Mihawk's cross. I guess. When you start as a family thing, you don't always get everything. Because when I played in my survival thing, I got the imitation Yoru as well. So it's not guaranteed. So that'll be why when I first started, I never got the straw hat. Whereas this time I did. Uh, run again. What we got? We got the Charlotte family. Big mom, hee hee. Since you're a part of my family, same as all my children, I will give you a devil fruit. So because of this, we get to start with a devil fruit. We got a spell fruit. <laughs> Place and right click this random fruit, my child. No, <laughs> I'm a child. That's so cruel! <laughs> Going to give me a devil for it. It's a smell for it! <laughs> I don't even know if those work! Anyway, family again. Uh, yeah, Vin Smoke again. Uh, that's Dolph Flamingo's family. I don't appeal to start anything. Basically, though, family just lets you get little starting benefits. So, yeah, that's kind of awesome. Um, yeah, there is an item for it clearly here, though. It's supposed to be one time use. Basically, I assume you can get this item from, like, loot chests and stuff, because a lot of different, these types of items you can get from loot chests, like, you recycle around your family. So, that's cool. Also, Big Mom's going to give me another Dell for it. She gave me two more spell fruits. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, other things. We can click our race here, so we can make ourselves human. What does that do for us? I actually don't know what the benefit of human is. It's a little info thing here, but it doesn't actually tell me what it does. So, I don't know if there's anything for human. Uh, it's fish man, which obviously gives me fins and stuff and gives me the water ability. Uh, there's mink, which, uh, in this case, I get rabbit ears. And I get speed from being a mink. So that's awesome. Uh, then, yeah, there's Skypean. Skypean gives you wings. Also gives you a jump boost, too. If you hold shift, you get a super jump. And if you hold shift on air, you get a slow fall ability because you get little wings. Then there's the Oni, which, uh... I guess maybe I'll harm. I think the bit texture is bugging up. But yeah, anyway, um, what does Oni do? No idea. Oni might have a benefit. But yeah, moving away from that, just also continue looking at the menu. Uh, there's stats. There's levels and stuff. So as you beat things, you will gain experience. As you level up, you'll get points. You get three points for every level up. There is a max for stats of 125. So, I'm sorry, there's a max level 125. Each stat can only go up to 150. And, or is every stat 150? I, uh, maybe. It's, it, they're all saying that. The information thing here does work, though, so it actually does tell you, hey, this is what your stat does. So, for example, yeah, if you increase your health, you'll get an extra two hearts. If you increase your uh, strength, uh, your uh, devil fruit strength, it'll increase the amount of damage you do with your devil fruit. And dum Basically, though, yeah, you've got 125 levels, three points per level, so that's 375 points. So you can't max out every stat. But you can split your stats to get a build of some sort. But yeah, basically though, you've got your Devil Fruit Power, Health, Stamina, which every point in Stamina, it says here you get 15, it only gives 5. Or at least it has in my experience. Uh, then, the, yeah, there's uh, Feasty Cuffs, Sword Play, and uh, Slingshot. But that said, it, yeah, increases damage on guns. This says increases damage on fighting style using swords and their uh, offhand abilities. And in Fisticuffs, it says increased damage of fighting style non-sword. Increased damage of certain non-weapons. 
uh, non-sword uh, weapon uh, secondary abilities. So I don't think those two actually just fly increase your like your ability to damage with a sword or a fist. I think that is also just when you use techniques. But yeah, there are fighting styles in this. How you get them? You talk to people. That that you find the person and they will teach you a style, basically. Also, if you float over here, there's a bounty part. I don't really know what that does for you though, because like I don't know. It's just I've not actually seen a point to the bounty yet. But it exists. It's there. Uh then there's also fighting styles and stuff, so I don't really have one. So I can't really rotate between them and stuff. Or actually, hold on. Because I'm in creative mode. No, uh, it's not because I'm in creative mode. I just don't have one currently. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. It could be because I need to level up before I can really do anything. That's fine. Take a look at some other items. So, yeah, in some cases, I'll get some other random things. So the unique shard, which gets the earth gem. A uh, unique gem holding unbelievable worth. Okay. Uh, don't really know what this thing does. Guessing it's got, uh, like, some thumbing or control error. Hell gem, you need gem that holds unbreathable energy. Again, don't know what that does. It's just, it's a bunch of random items like this. Like maybe they're really the devil fruits. Maybe they're really the very particular people. Maybe it's a quest thing. I don't know. Either way, there's some fancy objects in here. So that's cool. Uh, there's Ace's beads. It's a bead necklace owned by Ace. It doesn't actually do anything on its own. It's just there. Also, didn't mean to grab that. There's a pouch here, which apparently for holding items. You can craft that using leather and chests. So, that's a little mini backpack. There are his belly bags, you'll find them, or beat people for them. And yeah, they'll basically give you extra berry. Uh, dials! Impact dial, flash dial, toxic dial. There's beer, the mega pint, that gets you drunk. Uh, there's a marine pamphlet. Click to become a marine. So that basically, so you can join a faction. Uh, billets, rockets. Uh, they're for uh, firearms. So rocket, obviously, for bazookas. Billets for handguns and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, you'll get, you'll, you don't need to craft these, you'll get a ton of them. As you beat enemies, you'll get a ton of them. But you can craft them from iron. If you need to in a swing, you can craft from iron and gunpowder. But you get a bunch of them just from beating general enemies, so you'll probably never need them. Uh, sea beast skills and tiffs, that's just used for crafting sea beast based stuff. So, yeah, there's weapons and armor related to the sea beasts. You can craft them. Uh, same with like the sea beast eye, same deal. Uh, there's the crab shell. I guess beating crabs, get the crab arm. Or the crab sword. Cool. Uh, roots. Remove your devil fruit. So, when you die, you will get your devil fruit removed. This will let you do it with an item. Uh, or reset all your stat points. A rare item just lets you get your points back. Shurikens. Made from iron stuff. You can throw them. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, boar hide. That's made for making armor. Saber tooth fang. A lot of these are just general resources that are for building armor, building weapons, basically. Uh, sea stone. Immensely rare material with negative side effects and devil fruit users. Yeah, so I, I don't know where exactly you find this. It's probably, again, another thing you can just get from a drop out of a chest and things like that. Or at a unique location. But yeah, used for a uh, very particular weapon, a.k.a. Smoker's Duty. Uh, sea Stone Ore. So I guess it's an ore somewhere. I've never seen it, so I don't know where it spawns. <laughs> probably in the ocean, though. Uh, there's Pellets, which I assume is for Usopp's Slingshot. Uh, then there's, yeah, these little shells. They give themes. There's the Smell Devil for its... Dr. Sunding's briefcase. Okay. There's shadows. That's if you get more use for it. There's a scroll. It gives you Gepo. We already have that. I don't really need that. Limer gem. A gem that represents the moon. Maybe used to tap into race potential. Well, I'm currently a minx. That'll be fun. Pellet, shuriken, pellet, thingy magic. Yes, that's more of uh, those sorts of things. Also, just to quickly check the impact dial, because, you know, since I've got it, I want to see if it does anything. Just quickly right click it. Yeah, okay, right clicking it does actually do like an impact effect there. Neat, uh, neat. Then, briefcase. It's a briefcase. Awesome. Okay, I'm kind of curious about this, so smell devil for it. I'm just going to try eating one, because I've got it right here, and I want to know. I can't eat it. Never mind. <laughs> I was crazy if you eating it. I can't. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So they're just for decoration, then. Cool. I was wondering. Oh, so since I am currently a mink. Yeah, there we go. So... We got the fighting style Electro because of that. Because we are a mink and unlock the mink potential. Neat. So, a uh, quick thing. Um, yeah, we need experience so we can actually do stuff. I don't know why, actually. I'm not saying I don't have my fighting style. I can't access any of my stuff. This is actually quite weird. Uh, wait, what are the buttons press again? But there's combat change, extra skill, fighting style 2, hockey. Which, uh, yeah, I need to change that button really quick to something else because... Yeah, I, that's currently a different thing. Uh, and then there's your various skills. 
So normally what would happen is you'd have a little bar thing at like this part of your screen here, which would tell you all your various skills and stuff. It's not doing that for me, for whatever reason. But it should be, so I can look at my skills and actually use them. Plus, I just unlocked a fighting style. I kind of like to see it. I thought I had to level up to get it, so I thought, yeah, beat up some uh, animals. So animals at low levels can give you enough experience to level up. As you get higher, they stop doing that. But yeah, so in this case, yeah, we're, four, we're at level 4, get 12 points. Cool. Why do I have skills? What's happening with me? Yeah, so normally I'm meant to have some type of extra skill, which I can normally uh, activate with H, along with uh, five base skills. I can then rotate between that and my fighting style and things. And I'm supposed to be able to see all that. For some reason, it's not there. And I don't get why. So I'm going to ignore it for now. I'm going to continue looking at all the various things in the mod. And then, yeah, I'll, I guess, stop a different world if I need to. So I can actually access those abilities and show them off at the very end. But, um, yeah, so just continuing on from where we were. Various items in the game. Uh, you get different plants and things. Like, you know, race plants and stuff. Cool. I assume that's, yeah, where you'll get certain food items. There's things like dungeon cages. That's maybe higher up so you can see inside it. Whatever. There's thing at Road Planet Oh, that's cool. There's gold bars. You can find them. You can uh, you can uh, craft them from uh, gold coins. Gold coins are made from a gold ingot. Yeah, these things are worth nine gold a piece, and you can break it down into that. And then yeah, there's the bigger variants. There's a skeleton here. It's neat. Yeah, basically this mod has so many cosmetic -y things in it. Uh, it just can look incredible. Uh, yeah, you get various kitchen counters and stuff. There's a pretty much a full kitchen in this mod. Uh, which is also quite fun. There's various items you can sit on tables and things. That's a wine opener. That's not really... Of all the things I was going to grab, I was going to grab like a glass or something. Yeah, there we go. There's a wine glass and stuff. There's there's so much stuff in here. It could potentially, uh, yeah, just be about... As you go through various structures, you'll find really cool looking bits. Also massive gold pile. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there, yeah. So this mod has insanely cool looking uh, cosmetics. Uh, from what I've seen. So, yeah, as you go around various structures that spawn in the world, you'll just see really awesome stuff. And you can grab it and steal it, so that's fun. There's the wine barrel. Awesome. Yeah, uh, there, there's a whole bunch in here. But yeah, one of my favourite bits, though, is definitely these little things. The dendy machine. So, yeah, I've, been, I've had them all around here. Uh, so, basically, there's a basic dendy machine, there's a marine dendy machine. Those who drop from common foes. Whatever. After that, though, Things get fun because then there's a whole bunch of random, or well not random, uh, unique Dende machines for various different people. Basically, to get these ones, you have to beat whoever owns the Dende Mushi. So essentially, Dende Mushis are trophies. I love it. I love the fact that basically you, you beat a powerful boss of such, and yeah, you just get a little a little trophy to show, hey, you beat the boss, and you get you, you get to display it. I don't know, I just, I just love them. I think it's just such a unique little thing, just having like a bajillion different, because a cool thing in One Piece is a bunch of really unique looking dead machines. And yeah, in this case, you can grab some really fun dead machines by beating power points and keep them as little trophies to show you beat them. I, I don't know, I just really love them. I, I think they look awesome. I love the fact you can just display them as little trophy things. But yeah, actually, bunch to the more cosmetic -y unique items, they're, also, they're just really awesome. Uh, then we go into the, uh, the mobs. So uh, yeah, there's that chest there, and there's that chest there. And yeah, it's full. So, yeah, there's a lot of mobs in this. As I said earlier, not all of them actually have mechanics and stuff to them. So, in some cases, you can spawn people in and they won't be able to do very much. Uh, they are nothing too unique. So, in some cases, some of them might not be, you know, as great as awesome as what you might hope for. Uh, but yeah, so you get like your basic pirate, you'll find them all around the place. They're going to attack people like me because they're evil and survival and all that. Kill, defeat him, he'll drop some stuff, so he drops some bullets, he drops some berry. Awesome. Then you have those pirate captains, they're slightly stronger. Kill. And yeah, so the, these ones you'll find just all over the place. Same with uh, marines, same with mink variations of them. This one dropped a chest. Awesome. So yeah, you just, you just get massive amounts of loot as you fight them. Then you can get into more powerful people, like say Whitebeard. And this is where, uh, this is one of the ones that kind of leads into the whole disappointment aspect. So. Uh, yeah, if we go into game mode creative, because I don't really want to deal with fighting Whitebeard. So, while the model for him looks cool, he's got a big old health bar in that, he doesn't have his devil for it. So basically, he'll charge you and hit you. He's one of the more of the ones that, like I said, it looks awesome, he's in, but
But yeah, he's not got a lot going on yet. He doesn't have like his delta and stuff. So yeah, he's not gonna be too cool. Whereas then you get people like Ace on the other hand, or uh, I think Laws are a good one. Where yeah, they're in they've got their models and stuff. They do have abilities. How their fighting AI goes uh, uh, is a bit more questionable still, because like Ace is a bit I beat him my first day playing base. I just sat in I sat in some water and fought with him. And you'd think that all because of the water, you did it because of the water. No, he was still shooting fire at me, he didn't care. Uh, but yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, they, have, they have abilities and stuff, but uh, yeah, as, as far as the AI goes, it's still a bit, you know, they, they're not always the best. In some cases, but listen, it's just fine. They're still in, they're still doing stuff, and it's still uh, obviously being worked on. I think Law's also one, he's got some unique abilities. Actually, do I have more battler? I don't, I can't force Law to fight against another opponent. Okay. We'll do this the hard way then. Hello, Law. So, I remember the first time playing, Law actually did attack me straight away. So, yeah, he actually has his abilities. Like, yeah, room. Not that he needed it. Yeah, this is what the uh, stat points are for. So, you can give yourself a bit more health and things. I also, ah, uh, yeah, Whitebeard's coming for me too. Uh, yeah, so they hit pretty hard and stuff. Yeah, there's Law using his abilities. So, he made me float. And yeah, he's made things float up at me. And he attacks me with them. Yeah, this is another episode some really kill abilities. Uh, as I said, for, yeah, I know in some cases, like, yeah, they're gonna charge and hit you. As, as what I was kind of meaning by the more basic aspect. Like, Ace has got really cool fire powers. He doesn't really hang back and use them, though. He's gonna charge you and hit you. Same with Law. So, you know, like, it, the AI is whatever it is. But, I mean, some of them have some really cool abilities. And plus, model-wise, a lot of the stuff in this looks really good. There's Luffy as well. Luffy's actually not so much a combat mob thing, unless you beat him up. Um, Luffy actually is a skill person. If you get the little go the gum on me, he'll teach you how to use gear second. But yeah, if you attack him though, he'll eventually turn to normal Luffy and he'll fight you and go into gear second himself to fight you. Anyway guys, I'm done with your shenanigans. So as you might noticed over there, I might as well go look at this really quick. Oh, there's a Skypean merchant. Uh, yeah, he's one of the guys you can use your berry to get stuff from. Mostly food. I haven't really seen much else from that though. Uh, yeah, here's your thing over here. Here's the cake. It's the cake the big mom is better get. Fun fact, Big Mom's been a spawn on it. But she seems to be bugged and not do that. Also, there's treasure at the top. That's the thing, too. Oh, yeah, it's an earthquake point. So, uh, Whitebeard, if you defeat him, he will actually kneel over and become a, uh, combat learner. So you can learn, uh, his fighting style using his, uh, weapon things. Uh, but yeah, Siren, there's a bunch of other folk in here, which, again, it's touch and go if they can use their abilities and stuff. But regardless of that, model wise, they look pretty damn good. Like,. Get some amazing models. Garp is another one. Garp, people have told me, yeah, Garp, you can learn uh, his fighting stuff. <laughs> In order to use it, though, you need Conqueror's Hockey, Face Admiral Plus Rank, and no rank is needed with the Monkey Family. So, hey, he'll teach you for. I guess that's the, the thing for the Monkey Family. Apparently, Dolph Flamingo also has his devil for it, so that's the whole thing. Yeah, there's King. Uh, yeah, there's, there's Kaido in his hybrid form. There's some really awesome models in here. There's. Gold D. Roger, the man himself. There's Olden. There's a, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Because, right. yeah, like, I, obviously, I'm making the point I mentioned the fact that, yeah, that, you know, it's a bit touch and go with uh, the AI. But in character that, I would like to point out, yeah, these guys are good. really are sure abilities. Also, Rayleigh is the one that teaches you how to use Kaido. Uh, Kaido? Uh, hockey. <laughs> Kind of standard background. So, uh, yeah, in this case, so you can talk to really and would you like to use Vishnu Hockey? Yes, and actually you get Rayleigh's quest. What do you do for Rayleigh's quest? It says, start Rayleigh's quest to learn hockey. It's a good question how you actually check out the quest info. I don't know if there's a bit for that. Hold on, is there is there a bit for that? Uh, it's possible because I'm in creative mode, it's like kind of bugging out. Basically, though, you talk to really and do whatever his tasks are, and boom, ba dum you'll get to do. You'll be able to get access to uh, hockey. So that's the thing. Unless you're just born with it. So that's the thing. Oh, so Lord of the Coast. This is a big fish guy. Um, He has an incredible model. I think he's awesome. Didn't swim too well, but he's awesome. Uh, there's Fujitora. There's Mihawk. There's Kizaru. There's Shanks. Shanks is one I have seen in Spawn World. I'll see if I see other places get pretty filled with boss bars. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Also, they just said they're going to start fighting. Also, Nell's here. Yeah, there's a bunch of really high tier folk in this. And the models look incredible. And yes, yeah, some of them can use the Delphrit powers. They're terrifying. Speaking of Delphrits. Yeah, so there's all these ones here. I believe that counts as 27 plus the smell for it, but it doesn't really matter. 
And there's a whole bunch of things in here. Girl, girl, no me, camera, camera, no me, oh, no me, it's no me, so don't forget for Kage, Kage, no me, the shadow for Opo, no me, the Shiku, Shiku, no me, the Niku, Niku, no me, Suka, Suka, no me, Kiro, Kiro, no me, Kiro, Kiro, no me, no Kuma, no me, Mochi, Mochi, no me, Doku, Doku, no me, Horo, Horo, no me, Bomo, Bomo, Zoshi, Zoshi, Tika, Ura, Model, I believe that is Cardinals. Uh, there's a Go, Go, no me, which, uh, it's there, you can use Luffy's abilities, you can speak to Luffy to learn gear seconds, so that's fun. There's the Tar Tarnami Model Phoenix, oh that's a cool thing. As uh, Gura Gura no Mi, yo, Mago Mago no Mi, Mira Mira, Hito Hito, Model Daibatsu, which is the uh the bit of it. There's the Hihi no Mi and the Goro Goro no Mi, which uh yeah, so there's a bunch of really cool stuff in here. <laughs> if you fancy it. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this right now though, is only thing, because I apparently I'm currently bugged and can't access my combat menus. I don't know why. I, I tried resetting. Yeah, we're about to go to server first. But hold on, let me try eating this really quick. Oh hey, I got abilities! It fixed it. Yo! Yeah, okay, so now I can access stuff. It wasn't letting me before. That was weird, but hey, it's not working, I'd have to get a new world. So yeah, okay. By rotating between my combat things, I can rotate between my devil and my combat bar. Uh, then there's buttons, so stay tuned. I need to get to certain levels to use all your abilities. So, for example, my third, fourth, and fifth ability are currently locked until I get to level 7, 13, 25. I'm currently level 5, so be up a bunch of people, I'll get more stuff. For now, though, I could use things like Electro. I forgot I changed the button for these because I have other mods conflicting with them, but yeah. So, normally this is uh, Z. I've currently got an F. It'll still say Z down now. And then there's C, V, B, and I. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I I changed a bunch of these though, basically, because they were they were slightly over different things. But yeah, whatever the button tells you to be, that's what you have to go through. Uh, there's also I think you're saying fighting style too. I'm assuming I don't have a fighting style too. Yeah, I don't have a fighting style too, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, let's sell why use electro claw. I just use an electro claw thing. Kill. Cool, what if I use the layer ability? That's the lightning bolt. Neat. Uh, do you drain stamina though? So obviously, as you get higher level, you're gonna want to get more stamina, so you can like. Use your abilities more. That's fun. Uh, and then, yeah, if we go over here, we've got our zone abilities. So, sure, let's give this a try. I'm also going to take my clothes off for this, because when you go zone abilities, you tend to um, delete your clothing. Ayo. <laughs> I can't dig that. I can't dig that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, so this is uh, hybrid armor for being your hybrid form. Okay, I like uh, the rabbit ears obviously kind of get in the way of what maybe claws and stuff. This is you going in dragging mode, I guess. So I can still wear pants and shoes. Those are still fine. The hybrid form is only taking over the top half. <laughs> but yeah, we got access to our dragon armor, which uh, it's not very strong armor. So honestly, I don't really know what the point of that is unless it just lets you access your abilities better. I don't know. Also, if I click the button again, it activates it again. If I hold the button. Yeah, none. Yeah, I don't know how you deactivate this is the only thing. Uh, that's the thing I've never figured out. Because uh, <laughs> there are some, like, Gear Second is a thing like this. You can activate Gear Second. When Gear Second's activated, uh, it drains your stamina constantly. Then I think that one will just turn off. Whereas then there's like the bit of fruit, which I've tried before. I don't know how you turn it off. It's just on until you basically uh, die. Like, uh, that's just it. But yeah, anyway, if we were to use an attack with this. Yeah, that's Borrow Breath. I was going to say, I thought that was Borrow Breath. I wasn't sure if it was Borrow Breath. Yeah, they put a bit of effort into the old dragon for it looks like, given the, uh, oh, all out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. I love the little explosion effect there. Yo. Oh, so apparently I need more levels to go higher. So there are commands in this. Uh, see, so yeah, there's hockey ads. Oh, there's hockey. There's also ability reset, which I guess that would get rid of my uh, my timer thing if I want to just keep using that. So that'd be fun. Is there a thing spawn rate low, spawn rate low, spawn rate agency can affect the spawn rate? I guess all of things. Start level add. Oh, there we go. Let's say we want to add 20 levels onto ourselves. Oh, would you look at that? We've now just unlocked pretty much everything. Also, we get 60 points to spend. Yeah, let's, let's just throw a load of that in the stamina really quick. Because the higher your stamina is, the quicker your stamina regen is. And then the more abilities you can use. Also, if we up our Delphurt power, it'll let us use Delphurt's abilities more pow uh, with more power behind it. But, um, yeah, so now we can access the other abilities. Like, we can access, um, whatever this third one is. 
I think I just, yeah, slammed myself down and struck lightning down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this one? I've turned into a giant dragon temporarily. I guess that would look really cool from an outside perspective. <laughs> oh no. The, yeah, the dragon fruit is something. Dragon fruit is something. Yeah, okay, this is us going giant dragon mode and slamming in the folk. <laughs> yeah, so, um... So that, 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 that's the dragon fruit. Obviously that one's got a lot of stuff put onto it. Not all the dragon fruits are nearly, uh, not all the fr uh, adult fruits are like as impressive as that. Cause obviously depending on the adult fruit concept, some of them are obviously more basic things. Uh, but yeah, if you go to the higher end legendary ones, but there's some really cool effects around here. Also, how do they work with water? So, um, it's not a fun time for you. Basically in this mod, you can swim. So I can, I can swim. That's fine. But if your head goes under the water, different story. Your stamina will become zero. And normally you'd be in horrible, horrible pain. I don't know why I'm not. Oh, wait, it's because I'm in creative mode. Yeah, um, if I go into survival, that would actually answer. Yeah, there we go. Also, because I just passed away, I have lost my devil fruit. That said, though, I don't have my fainting cell back, so... Hey, that's cool. So basically, yeah, normally you go under the water, you take damage, it's not instant. Like, it just showed for that. That was because a lot of it stacked because I was in creative mode. But, uh, no, Whitebeard, no, don't do it. All right, let's just try this one out. Phoenix for come. Okay. I'm still in this mode. Wait, why am I? Oh, yeah, I've got keep inventory on. Fun fact, because I keep inventory on. This armor doesn't go away. But you know what? That's fine, because I can do this. Oh, it's cursed. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it would be. I knew it would be. It always is. I've never seen someone do the do the phoenix fruit well. It's always cursed. I knew it would be, but I had to look and see just in case. Also, I don't think I can fly. I don't seem to have the ability to fly. Okay, I do apparently have a bunch of fiery, beautiful phoenixy flower, uh, fire powers. That's kind of awesome. Okay, if we were to hop into the ocean for a second, just to show this off, but donk. Yeah, there we go. So basically, we take like. A bunch of damage. So, well, you won't instantly pass from it. And you can swim. If you stand water for too long, you're basically going to die. And that's a thing. Also, you lose all your stamina, so you can't use any of your abilities. I think that's pre a pretty good way of doing it. Obviously, it's not like true to the show by any means. But it's a pretty good way of doing it because if you're playing a single player. Or even in survive, like it with multiplayer. It's not like your friends can take you out of the water. Once you're in the water, you're kind of done. Like, if they make it so you're paralyzed, that just sucks. Because then you're just stuck there. Until you slowly pass. At least this way, it's like, okay, you can actually out the water. Uh, but water's still a detriment to you. By by no means is being in the water anywhere near a good thing for you. Like, it sucks being in the water. So, yeah, I kind of like the way they've done it. It's pretty awesome. Also, just to try this one out. You choose to know me. Wait, which one are you? Wait, no, you're the dragon fur again. Yeah, I'm going to eat you anyway. Cause you're pretty cool. It didn't transform me. Why did it not transform me? Why am I still a bird? I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop being a bird, please. Okay, there's also a keep devil fruit command, so you can like keep your devil fruit after dying. Which actually, I'll turn that true for a second, just to see how this works. Keep devil fruit. True. Then we reset. Please just get rid of the armor on me. It, it, it gave me back my dragon armor. Yeah, the thing is kind of buggy when it comes to the armor part. Basically, if you have keep inventory on, the armor won't disappear. I guess it's not really buggy, that's more a game rule based thing. But yeah, if, if your game room set to keep your inventory, the dragon armor that stays here, it can be a pain because if you put other armor on, it will delete it too. So you, you got to be careful of that part. But yeah, in this case, I don't really mean too much because it's pretty awesome looking. Right, Beer, can you stop chasing me, man? Bottle breath. Yeah, see, that's not doing a lot of damage. That's good. My power for my Delphi is not very high. Also, hey, White Beer's been defeated. He dropped his stuff. But hey, also he's now sitting like that. He actually dropped the thing. I hate this. So you need this weapon to learn his fighting style. Look, I've learned his fighting style. Fun facts. I literally have I, I've defeated him a couple of times in survival. Never once gotten his weapon, but you need the weapon to learn his fighting style. It's it's a whole thing. Uh, yeah, so apparently I can switch between Electro and that thing. Cool. Now I got my fighting style up there. Apparently my fighting style is supposed to click those two buttons for it. Okay, but yeah, I, I, I can use, I can use, I can use apparently now white piece of fighting style if I want to. I don't know if that's necessarily the fighting style I want, but hey, it's, it's there. But yeah, so for time reasons, I'm not going to look at every single dial for it, but yeah, just, no, yeah, but I just don't get, like, 
fun effects. Some of them are basic, obviously, but once you get up to legendary stuff, there's some really awesome effects going on. With, yeah, probably Kyle's for... I, I want to assume it's got the most stuff going on with it, because people have mentioned it quite a bit as being like, you know, people can't wait to see me get a hold of that for it in survival. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I can see why now. <laughs> I can see why now. I played with it for a brief moment. It was awesome. Roger, I thought you were trying to attack me. I wasn't sure, though. Yeah, no, leave me alone. Also, just as a last quick thing, just to quickly look around. Yeah, there's some cool structures flying if you go around the world. So, like, yeah, here's a random marine fort. You'll find marine people inside, along with some loot. If we go over here, I found this structure thing. We're really at it. So, I could learn hockey off him if I want to. Yeah. And then, if we go over to... Uh, do -ba -do -ba -do. Yeah, here. Uh, here is uh, Shanks' boat. In the old, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, like some of the structures look really simple. Yeah, then you find things like this, and it's a completely different game. Uh, this ship looks absolutely incredible. This isn't even my favorite one. Fun fact: kids' ships on this. It's got so much cool things on it. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite ones so far. There's also yeah, the Going Mary I've seen before. The Sunny might be in this, but I've never seen it. I've never actually found the thing. Uh, Whitebeard ships here. It's pretty basic. Also, Whitebeard's on it. And Whitebeard, you know, himself is pretty basic since he just charges right here. But, uh, yeah, it exists. Also, next to him, there's a big old marine ship here. They all have a bunch of things in it. Mostly just, like, basic marines and captains and stuff. They, like, have a bunch of, like, you know, potential loot and things. There's some awesome structures, basically. If you go online, there's a bunch of really cool ones, too. Like, yeah, uh, Arlon Park, for example, being a random one. I also randomly found this, which, um, yeah, I don't know what, I've never seen this before, up until I, I did this, but yeah, Kakuru's here, apparently, I, yeah, he's just here, <laughs> I, ain't got, I, I ain't got answers for it, also, apparently, I, clicking that sword just let me take that off, that's interesting, yeah, there were three Kakuru's here, for some reason, uh, next to these, well, I assume are maybe giant donuts, I don't really know what's going on. I just thought it was cool and thought I'd point it out. And floating over here, we've got uh, the floating uh, restaurant. Which, yeah, so it's obviously got the invading pirates. Okay, so it's, just, it's just these two guys and Don Creed on their side. But if you go inside, yeah, this is what I was meaning by some instructors having some really cool bits. Like, yeah, it's a full on restaurant. It's a full on, like, you know, full on restaurant bits here. Then you go upstairs where the kitchens are. And oh my god. They're, they're, yeah, you know how they got all those structures in that for, like, all those blocks. Okay. Why is there there's a leaky pipe somewhere? Anyway, uh, yeah, so look, look at all the bottle bits for the kitchen. Okay, that's missing texture. But still, like, I love stuff like this. This looks incredible. And there's other structures with similar things like this. It's just, it's just madness and I love it. Uh, yeah, they've just, they've got so many beautiful cosmetic boxes and spots. It's, it's, I, even if you didn't really care for the fighting aspects, in that, or like any other bit, it's like, it's, this mod's worth it just for the cosmetics. It's got so many cool things in it. <laughs> Can't tell I was expecting that there. Yeah, I... I... What? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Hockey! That exists too. Look, I'm using Conqueror's Hockey. That was a kill effect. Yeah, I was trying to trigger that there for a moment. And then I, I, I just activated back to my, uh... <laughs> my level 4 Mink ability apparently is a, some kind of electric shadow clone jutsu after image thing. I don't know what that was. That was amazing, though. Hold on. Hockey? Hockey? Hockey again? Need 100 hockey. Okay, how do I increase hockey? I actually have no idea how you increase... I don't even know if you can increase hockey. Right, dude, you're going to be my test dummy for this. Conquerors? No? Shift Conquerors. Shift Conquerors works. Seems to be the only people that are super, super close get hit by it initially. So I guess it can hurt lots of people if they're nearby. It doesn't do a lot of damage though. Okay. Yeah, Conquerors Hockey. Has kill cool sound effect. Has kill cool effects. That's all their hockey's in this. But yeah, you need to do training in that for that. But yeah, time is ticking on. I don't want this review to be too, too long. It already is too, too long. But yeah, we're going to end things there, though. So hope y'all enjoyed this little mod review. Uh, look, yeah, this mod's got a lot in it. I obviously can't go over through everything in great detail. I, have to, I can have to gla I'm gonna glaze over particular things just slightly. But, um, you know, it, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of outfits, a whole bunch of delfrits, a whole bunch of mobs. Whole bunch of potential combat capability effects and maneuvers. I would have to do like four different videos reviewing each thing individually <laughs> to put enough time to look at everything. But uh, maybe I'll do that at some point. But just a general look at it. Yeah, this mod is incredible in its way. 
like, yeah, there's some cheeky stuff here and there. Partic- Mostly it comes down to mob combat. Like, it's just some of them don't have all their stuff in yet. But then, at the same, for, like, at the same time, some of them do. So, you know, it's not that crazy. It's just that some of them have models in and they're not fully going yet. But they look incredible, so why wouldn't you put the model in, you know? It's, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. The models are incredible. A bunch of the effects in that look insane. And, I mean, yeah, there's just some of my favourite little bits in here, like the Dende Mishis now. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love them. Then there's things like this for, uh... Zone Tentel fruits for Kaido, like Kaido's fruits in this. That's it. So, yeah, they put some serious work into some of these fruits for, you know, amazing big effects. And I say they never put serious work into, like, all the fruits, but, like, you know, obviously some fruits have more stuff going on, so they're going to put more work into that fruit. And, again, Kaido's fruit case, they saw there was a bunch of stuff they could do with it, and they went crazy. And it works. That looks incredible. So, yeah, we also see other stuff to do, which apparently they are doing a big mod update thing now, uh, which I think people said was in February. Basically, they did a big uh, update at the 31st of December 2023, and it was marked as part one of two. Apparently, there's another big update where apparently they're doing a big redo of a bunch of different things for the mod. So, I don't know the details of that. I'm just going off what people have been telling me, but and the fact that the mod has a whole one out of two for the update. So, apparently, this is another big update thing happening. I don't know whether it's going to be adding stuff in or where it's going to be, like, working on like, the, you know, the abilities of the mobs and things like that. But either way, it'll be cool to see. It's not your mod. I can't wait to see what other stuff gets added to it and, you know, as, as it develops and gets better and better. But yeah, so links down below. This is the One Piece mod Prime Piece. It's 1.16.5 Minecraft. It's awesome. It's definitely a mod you could add in to have a One Piece type world because all other mods in with it if you wanted to. Uh, for some fun... For some fun stuff, because yeah, you, you can see stuff like that floating around the world. And you get abilities to do stuff like, you know, the the, the dragon fruit I've currently got. There's, there's, there's some amazing things in here. But yeah, anyway though, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Links down below if you want to check the mod out. And yeah, let us know what other stuff would you love to see put in the mods. I want to see more Dendam motion. <laughs> I don't know why I like them so much. I just do. They're awesome. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Catch you next time for my Minecraft. What do you think you end up doing next? Go! Bye, everybody. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny member, Sebastian Ramsey, and the Unbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Bato, bato. Bye,